Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Kagan and your girlfriend Lungu. And we are Fanny and, and Jesse. So today we're gonna react to uh my guy Move to Mank. Today we're gonna react to Move to Mank, but before that, I wanna say thank you for everyone who's been subscribing because it's super amazing. Keep on subscribing. Another thing is we wanna say thank you to everyone who've been giving us suggestions and just the ones who have been watching without even subscribing. Thank you so much. Today we're going to do Muslim Celebrate Birthdays by Muft Mank. What do you think? What, the title? No. Anyway, let's get... No, I'm wondering what you mean. No, is it true that they... I don't know, maybe that... Uh, sometimes titles can be so controversial. Let's just hear what he's going to say. So without any further ado, let's get it. What's regarding birthday parties? Look, to be honest with you, I, I need to give an introduction to the answer. Islam is a religion I have chosen, you have chosen. Have you chosen it? We've chosen it. Is it from you or from Allah? Are you happy that it's from Allah? So if the dunya tells you something and Allah tells you something else, does it make Oh, which one is more important, the first or the second? What Allah has said. So even if the whole world is doing something and we are taught that this is not supposed to be done in the deen, we should not be feeling it hard in our hearts to say, Allah, if I die today, I know that I chose to be a Muslim and I chose to worship you and I know it's your rules. You know, it's so difficult today to talk because you're talking to a secular world and, and sometimes they will pick on a small point of yours and they will make it a big issue for nothing, but not realizing that we do believe you are free to choose whether you're a Muslim or not. But the fact that you chose you're a Muslim, you, you are not free to change Islam. That's what we're saying. You cannot come and say, no, uh, you know what? Islam needs to be modified. Well, then tell yourself you're a modified Muslim. Someone says, are you a Muslim? Say, no, I'm a modified Muslim, you know? So people know. But if you want to call yourself a Muslim, you've surrendered. So you need to know there are certain things that people might say, and you might think, oh, this guy is backward, man. How could he say that, you know? But it's not, be it's not it's because it's not from me or my pocket. My children would like to also go to birthday parties and celebrate and so on. I sit them down and I explain to them what the candles are all about. Do you know what the candles on a birthday party are all about? In ancient Europe, when the, the, the winters were so bad that people used to go into literal hibernation to keep themselves warm in, in whatever way they had. And when they would come out, they would count the dead. Did you know that? They would count the dead. And in, in order to celebrate the, the fact that those who are alive have passed through the winter and survived and fought nature, which means nature came to kill us in the form of cold. And because we fought nature and we stayed alive, now we need to defy it by blowing up candles. So they would put how many ever candles of their age and blow them out to show we can defy it. It's something that we believe is rooted in the medieval Europe. And it comes with its own satanic origins and so on. But people today say, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm blowing the candles. But you don't realize it's like, it's like an act of worship of the pagans. And we're saying, you know, and people have made it a culture and a tradition. The same applies to so many other things, you know, like Valentine's and so much. People start saying, but what's wrong? How come these people, you know, you're not allowed to show your love? Well, to be honest, we are being fooled by believing that, you know what, uh, you need to celebrate the fact that you're, you're one year older by throwing a big party, everyone must come, but you don't know that now you're closer to your grave, for example, or there are more responsibilities on your shoulder. I'm not saying that when your age turns that you must not make dua to Allah, ya Allah grant me a good age and so on. But firstly, we have a Hijri calendar. Secondly, these teachings are foreign to Islam. They are actually incorrect, invalid. But they, are from, they, they come from Allah, not from me, not from you. If I had it my way and you had it your way, we would be throwing parties because our kids put pressure on us, so do mine. But we have to speak to them, address them, try and explain to them and you know, get to the origins, origins of it. The sad reality is people take part wholesale. So they'll tell you, but they did it. But these people did it. That's the peer pressure. Sadly, we're living in an age al ala kal ala A person who wants to hold fast to the deen is someone similar to he who is holding fast to, you know, a red hot coal, for example. So you find uh, even families which are supposedly religious, you know, they have these big birthday parties and so on. 
Whereas it is Islamically incorrect. Wallahu a'lam. Allah knows best. Like I said, I've introduced, I've given you a little introduction before I gave the answer. Uh, there are more important things we could do, you know, than that. And we could have, uh, you know, we could throw a party on a different occasion altogether in order to celebrate other things uh, than to do it the pagan way. You know, I would prefer a graduation party than to have a birthday party any day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our children. May He bless us all. It was wonderful being here. When we have kids in the future, would you like uh, do birthdays for them? Now that you have a knowledge of what birthdays are, it, it actually goes deeper than that. But we're not Muslims. We should start there. And I don't, if you celebrate with your family, close family, do you understand? Where the house will give you gifts. Just if the child likes cake, I don't see anything wrong with that. About the candle blowing, if it's a bad thing, then I'd love to first educate myself, do you understand? Mm -hmm. For me to understand where all this originated from. Big party is not my thing, but if it's something small, definitely the child is going to be celebrated that day. Do you understand? What are your thoughts on this video though? I really agree with him when it comes to birthday parties. Because, um, I don't know, I, I feel like we should celebrate ourselves every day. When you wake up in the morning, celebrate you, celebrate yourself. The idea of that one particular day that you were born and then you just put a party because of that day, then when that day goes, you don't value anything else. You just go about yourself. I don't think it's that I don't think it really applies to to what I'm trying to say here regarding birthdays. Again, um when you look at values in terms of as a person, okay. You tend to value yourself as as a person who is always positive, always in a good position in life, trying to be happy, trying to be that best person that you could ever be. So let not something like a birthday party just come along to uh, separate that from what you are as a person because there are people who have so much engraved into parties especially birthday parties you find somebody goes crazy because it's his birthday party he goes ahead and, and does that and that, he makes it look like it's one of those days that will never happen again in her like in, not tomorrow. yes like it's, it's this is not gonna happen in his entire life or her entire life which is so wrong to be honest yes you can celebrate whatever your birthday parties but don't forget that it's not about that day alone do you understand you have to celebrate yourself every day you wake up in the morning give gratitude and then celebrate yourself that you're grateful you are just one one of a kind and whatnot anyway i know another thing i really want to mention is that all these birthday parties and everything i think is more of a commercialized type of idea do you understand i never to be honest, back in the days, did people even know when they were born? Did we even have a calendar? Did we even know the days? Coming to the calendar, we are using a different calendar. We are using uh, a, a Gregorian calendar. And which, back in the days, we used to use a calendar called Julian, whatever. So now, as much as you want to think that you are born in this particular day and time, again, time is also another factor here. Time don't exist according to what I've been reading. It's more like relative and all those kind of ideas. Like time was just forced into us to control us and all those kind of things. But should we be at a position to say, okay, because we understand that these things are, are not there back in the days, should we stop? No, because if you look at it carefully, it's a modern way of just assuming and commercializing things. On a birthday party, do you know how, many, how much people spend? A lot of money. You spend on a cake, you spend on candles, you spend on balloons, you spend on all this. So it's all commercialized. Same as Christmas, Valentine's, all those whatever. And what he's actually saying, I, I feel like there's some truth in it. It's, it's more of a pagan thing because the idea of blowing a candle. Do you understand? Why would I want to blow a candle? 
why would I want to blow? Is that not blowing away your ears? Is that not blowing away or maybe bringing yourself closer to your grave? I believe that um, candles has meaning, not lots of meaning. They have like, you know, when you put a candle on and uh, in a dark room and you know, this is more like, a, what do you call this? Ritual. Ritual uh, type of things and what kind of, you know, when you see those movies and you see candles are lit and they're doing some some weird rituals and all those kind of stuff i'm not saying some about some i mean they're a positive way of dealing with that there's negative way of dealing with things but now do we even know what we are doing in the first place we are lighting the candles we are celebrating and blowing the candles why are we blowing the candles in the first place has anyone ever asked why are we blowing the candles can we just let the candles go on or can we just not let the person blow the candles? Or why are we even putting the candles on top of the cake in the first place? Why did the candles have to be involved? Okay, you so... understand? So I'm thinking is uh, there's something there that we really don't know. But and the people who... Yes. And the people who created that, they knew once uh, they celebrate birthdays every year and they blow the candles, probably they're going to remain in this realm I don't know. Maybe that's a way of reducing their years or reducing their... Exactly, I had someone talking about birthdays and blowing of candles and everything. Every time, of course, we age, but every time you get to that point of, uh, let's say it's, it's, it's your birthday and whatnot, what really happens is you're actually, if not cursing yourself to have less years living or maybe aging it doesn't matter you know sometimes you can celebrate your birthday but you don't age you live longer now what the guy was saying was like the moment you do that you age i mean you shrink and all those kind of stuff so i don't know if that's true or not just let us know in the comment section what you think about the idea of um the birthdays um for me i don't know i feel like it's a spooky thing i feel like it's that's why I don't really celebrate my birthdays that much. You did. Gee. See, but also. But I'm mm -hmm. trying to ask a question. Yes, please. please. Um, so the issue is with the candles, not the celebration itself. And even Would even Islam allow even celebration of these things without the candles. No, even the celebration Would itself. Would you accept it without the candles? Without the candles, we make. A, a little bit of sense. I don't want to blow any candles. Do you understand? It's fine. But, so check them out. but my first statement was like, I just want to value my 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 life. Every day when I wake up in the morning is one of my best ever. Every day is my birthday in town. Every day is that day that celebration. Yes, of yes, celebration celebration of life. Just like Valentine's. Why would someone pick just one day and say, yeah, today is Lover's Day? Come on, man. That was the, the 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 craziest way of just manipulating people to think that there's only that one day that you can love your woman and bring flowers and that's it. That was the weirdest ever thought that someone came up with it. But anyway, we we know what 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 it means about. But again, what I wanted to say was, um, what do you call this? Yes, thank you. Yes. My last thought is, I think we should celebrate one another every day do you understand exactly yes so that yes. we don't go overboard with our birthdays because sometimes yeah. like you said some birthdays are twisted uh so let's celebrate each other while we're still alive let's just not celebrate people when they die or we'll come together when people die i don't think there's anything wrong with actually coming together and celebrating and say my birthday i'm not for big things i'm just saying i don't see anything wrong if we have to remove the candles to accommodate someone's religion i think i'm down do you understand? It doesn't mean that you shouldn't be happy. Yes. Um, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do yeah, anything. Yeah, but again. I really wanted to touch on. You see, okay. The, I mean, if you want, you really want to go deep and just try to understand things. Okay, why are we celebrating the day that we came out from yeah. our mother's womb? But in nine months, why are we not making the day that we were zygote or maybe a uh, a baby in the womb why are we not why are we eliminating those months 
why are we not adding those months into it? Do you understand? So that one already kind of um, discredits the whole idea of of time, our years of, I mean, the Working. day we were born and all this kind of stuff. But the country is where you're born and you're automatically one when you're born. Exactly, you exactly. You see, so now there are countries you're born when you're one, there are countries you're born that you're born and you're one. Yes, and you're one, but there are countries you're born, you're zero, and then up like to the rest of us. Yes, like the rest of us, which to me, so I don't know. Older than... Exactly. So when you look at that, you can start thinking, like, hey, it's all a scam, man. Why? How? Again, I wanted to touch on what what Mufti Meng just said was really amazing until towards the end when he talked about graduation. <laughs> no, but then this. that's his opinion, yes, isn't it? Yes, that's his opinion. But again, there is so much about graduation. Graduation is amazing. People graduate, they wear their... You think that's another ritual? Yeah. They wear the, 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 cape. What, the cape and everything. But again, when you look carefully, when you read carefully or you go deeper and understand why why do people wear black robe and it's white or so blue sometimes and all those kind of stuff. Are, they, are the yeah. robes always black? They have to have a touch of black, you know. Uh, I've never seen a white robe in a graduation. I don't know. But anyway, a black robe and the hat is always a, a cube. A cube and it's always black sometimes. So they, 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 there's so much things that we are like we're being it's like we're being harnessed like they're they're taking our energy without us knowing do you understand other than if we have the knowledge we will really not let them actually harness our energy and trust me with that idea or knowledge you will be in a position where you you just be seeing things happening and not even trying to participate in these things i feel like the more you participate in their in their creation the more you become, if not a slave, or, or not ma manipulated by them, I feel so. Imagine you can create your own, your, your own, you can create your own, what do you call this? Reality. Do you understand? You can create your own reality, but they created our reality. Do you understand? Yeah. By putting all this thing in front of our faces. Saying that we have to do this. Yes, we have to do this. Okay. Other. Uh, because you can say, I don't want all this. I want to create my own reality. I want to be doing this, this, this and that. And I don't want to follow that. If you decide not to follow, trust me, I think that your ways in life are going to go so good. But anyway, yeah. But when it comes to Muslims, I see many Muslims celebrating their birthdays. You understand? Yeah. Blowing the candle. Yeah. So... What meaning, to them? meaning they are not so like, they're not muslims themselves so if we don't do that does it make us more muslim than them as dr zakina exactly so so, so now i am more muslim than the muslims Is themselves it? who are blow candles <laughs> out there. when last did you have cake i can't even my 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 recent birthday was just the other day yeah i didn't even flinch like you know i'm so calm it's never my birthday I'll never go like, yeah, it's my birthday, yeah, I gotta, no, I was just calm. No one in the office knew, only one guy and one of my workmates who just quit, just those people. And this one of my guy, he went ahead and told people in there, not, not my main office, other people. Otherwise, no one would have known. It was just as silent as what? A whistle? It was as silent as the dark, whatever. That makes Nobody sense. knew. I didn't even post in my socials that it's my but i only posted on not? twitter i posted on twitter because i feel I like i didn't see did you post yes i posted on twitter I but i didn't even uh, you know it was just like you know what let me just post but in the actual sense i don't know i feel like i've grown to a point where it doesn't even bother me anymore but what, what? it's like i'm asking i have this subconscious mind so every time asking me that when you grow sometimes some things become unnecessary yeah like subconscious minds keep on asking me but why are you celebrating? Why? What's the reason? And then now I have to go back and forth with my conscious mind as a conscious. I have to fight and we come up to an agreement. Oh, this is it. You know what, Jesse? You're bigger than this. You don't have to. Most of these things are evil. Most of these things, they created for you. Create your own reality. 
Yes. So yeah. Yeah, I'm preaching. Yes. Let us know what. For you more preaching lessons, <laughs> follow me. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.